This year, a company that helped put Spokane on the map celebrates its 125th anniversary. All three of the founders of Hecla Mining built mansions here in Spokane. Some of those homes in Brown's edition still stand as a testament to their success. And now Hecla's flagship operation, the Lucky Friday Mine in Mullen, Idaho, is growing. KXY4 Jeff Humphrey is here to take us down inside the Lucky Friday for a look at the mine's most ambitious project in the company's history. Jeff? Nadine, hard rock mining is one of the things that inspired Washington Water Power to build the area's first hydroelectric dam. And even today, the lure of silver is launched in an incredible construction project, hundreds and thousands of feet underground. This new mile deep shaft puts miners face to face with some of the most high grade ore Hecla has ever developed. Nobody likes a long morning commute, but every day dozens of workers here at the Lucky Friday Mine spend 20 minutes getting to their job site. And these long elevator rides happen after the miners have reached the company parking lot. We're two miles underground, huge pressures that you have underground, and we're able to manage that and operate safely at, at those sorts of depths. Heckla Mining has now doubled the depth of the Lucky Friday, chasing down a series of veins that get richer as they dive beneath the Silver Valley. We actually knew the ore body continued, but we didn't know how rich it was. So we drilled and determined this is a very, very high high-grade ore body and it can support the cost which was a quarter billion dollars for developing this this shaft the number four shaft is an engineering marvel a concrete line circle blasted out of solid rock hoses help control the dust but the water turns to steam as miners get closer to the earth's upper mantle so the rock temperature is where we currently mine is about 125 degrees as we go deeper it'll be 150 degrees almost every piece of heavy equipment down here had to be disassembled so it could fit inside the shaft that's only 18 feet wide then painstakingly put back together Together. The work goes on 24 hours a day, and so far this new hole in the ground hasn't gone into production. People have a perception that mining is sort of a quick hit sort of industry where you come in and you sort of take advantage of things and you're gone. Nothing could be further from the truth. It's, it's long-term investment. And the Lucky Friday has had to overcome some huge hurdles to explore and develop these new silver reserves. The mine was actually shut down because of safety concerns and reopened in 2013 much to the relief of nearby towns. That's because an experienced miner can earn nearly $100,000 a year. Everybody just um, is just thrilled to get to get a paycheck now and uh, uh, off the unemployment and um, the families are struggling as hard. They're uh, everybody just seems to be doing a lot better. Even before the closure, Hecla was saddled with a $264 million bill for its share of the Silver Valley Superfund cleanup. But of all the mining companies that pioneered this historic district, Hecla is the last one standing. And now that's all behind us. We've satisfied that obligation. And the real focus is, okay, how do we grow? And so we've been successful. Since that's occurred, we've been able to, to really increase our production dramatically. And Nadine, that growth continues with Hecla hoping to have the new number four shaft fully operational by the fourth quarter this year. While other old school industries are playing out in the inland northwest, our rich mining history lives on just really far below the Silver Valley. Reporting in Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.